Hi, my name is Ben Howard and welcome to this YouTube video where I'm going to show you how to take planner data as in data that you've exported from Microsoft Planner and store that on a SharePoint folder and then use a Power BI template file which I've published on GitHub to automatically update the Power BI report when you place new files, new exported planner files into that SharePoint folder. Now I created this because I've got a similar Power BI template that takes data out of a Windows folder and updates a Power BI file. And so this template does exactly the same thing, but it takes data out of a SharePoint folder. So let's go and have a look at the prerequisites for this. What do I need? Well, you need to input two parameters into the Power BI file. The first is the path to the root URL. And the second is what I call the root folder within the URL. So that's the path where you're going to store your Excel files. So here's a screenshot and you can see that I've got two files that have been exported from Planner. Now, those files are in a SharePoint site called Power BI Folder Refresh. Now, the question is, what is the root folder for that SharePoint site? Well, we can get the root folder from the URL that's stored in the browser. So in this case, it's going to be https colon white white mvp apple park dot sharepoint dot com slash sites slash Power BI folder refresh. Now, the document library within there is a little more difficult. You can see that I've stored my files in a document library, which is under documents and then general, and then I've called it planner files. Now we can get that document library structure again from the URL, but it's right over on the right hand side of the URL. Now, if I use the magic of PowerPoint, then I'm able to show you both the root URL, here it is in its entirety, and then the portion that contains the document library. You can see that it's called percent %2F shared, percent %20 documents, etc. So on the screen there, I've said for the folder path, you need to replace a percent %2F with a slash, you need to add a slash to the end and replace percent %20 with a space. So you need to copy that portion of the URL and then we're able to enter the relevant parameters when we open up the Power BI template file. So the path to the root folder is that first portion and the path to the documents of a folder path in the root folder, I can take the last portion of the URL. And again, with the magic of PowerPoint, I can replace the values so that I end up in this case with slash shared space documents slash general slash planner space files slash at the end obviously your documents are going to be stored in a different location so now we know that let's go and do a demo and show you this live so here we are in Microsoft Planner if you don't know how to export a plan to an Excel file you just go into a plan click on the three dots here and then select export plan to Excel once you've exported the plan, then of course you can go to SharePoint, click on upload and upload the plan into SharePoint. So that's the planner side of things fixed. What we now need to do is go and get the template file that I've put on GitHub. So searching in GitHub isn't very easy. So what I would do is I wouldn't bother searching for the files, rather I'd search for me. So if in the search you put in user colon and then double quote Ben, dash Howard, double quote, that will search for all of my repositories or search for me as a user and list you those repositories. You can see there that we've got a repository called Power BI Planner and that's the one we want to select. Within Power BI Planner, there's really two Power BI template files that we want. The one we're going to use for this demo is planner from sharepoint.pbit. So let's download that and then open it up. So within Microsoft Power BI, we click on File, and then Import, and we can import a Power BI template. Select the Planner from SharePoint PBIT file that you just downloaded, and then you'll be prompted to enter in values into those two parameter fields. I'll paste in the path to the root folder and the folder path in the root folder. I'm going to leave the language as English and the parameter one you can just ignore. So let me click load. 
Power BI then brings in all of the planner files that exist within that documents library. Now it is very important that only exported planner files exist in that document library. Otherwise you're gonna get some errors when you bring them in. Now, if you do want to set up an automatic refresh for the Power BI report once you've published it, then I do have a video which shows you how to do that for SharePoint or Teams folder. So the link for that is on the screen now. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video and it's been useful. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon. Cheers.